Hi guys, so I'm back today with another hair video. I wanted to show you a new wig grip I have and I've kind of been eyeing it a while and they did actually send it to me for free so it's gifted but I want to give my honest opinion on it. I haven't worn it a ton so I do have more of a first impression just my thoughts on it and then I'm going to wear it for like a week a couple weeks maybe up to a month and then kind of give my final opinion on it but I know I'm going to have some questions this is the Madison wig um, it's from Madison wigs it's called the Tessa wig I showed this in another video it's a silk top with a little bit of a lace front and I'm going to be using this wig to demonstrate how I wear the wig grip today and I also wanted to point out these really beautiful earrings I have on from 1110 leather designs um they're just too beautiful not to mention. I think I wore some of these other earrings another time and a bunch of people asked, but they're really lightweight and just kind of leather, but like a little feathery, super lightweight. So right now I don't have any wig grip on. Now I wear this wig every day to work. I'm a teacher, so I don't have time throughout the day to be like going to the bathroom or anything like that to readjust. This one does have a couple ear tabs I pull down, but this one is not as secure as I would say my lace top wig from Hairalicious. Just because of the construction of this cap, it kind of can like shift a little bit easier. So if someone was to like pull something, it probably could come off. But I did find that this wig grip worked really well with this particular wig. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So first I'm gonna take off this wig really easy. This is like the easiest wig to take on and off and it is absolutely gorgeous. So this is what it looks like. Here's the wig. It's called the wig fix and it's from the Renatural. I think I'm saying it right. The Renatural. Now I've been following them on Instagram. I want to say for about the past year and I've seen this, but I just have never tried it. So it looks like this right here. It's this kind of like stretchy band. It doesn't look anything like my velvet ones and I haven't really seen anything too much else like this. It does have these little nodules on the top and on the bottom of both of uh, both sides of the band. Now I will say my only thing, like the reason I like this one with this wig is because I feel like it lays so flat and with this particular wig, my other cap and wig grip feel a little bit too thick with this, but this one lays super flat. Flat. But my only thing I will say is the only potential thing I could see happening with this is maybe a little bit of hairs being pulled out, maybe more than normal, like of your own. And I'm not saying that might happen. I'm just saying because of the material, I could maybe see that happening. So if you have really fine, delicate hair it might not be the best for you, but I just wanted to put that out there. Those were kind of my initial thoughts, but I'm going to try it out for sure and start wearing it and see what I actually think of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I do already have my hair in a low ponytail, so I'm going to put it on just like that. I'm going to kind of adjust it. Okay, my earring's trying to go in it. Okay. You can see how flat it is. It doesn't like budge easily, which I really like. My hair is in a ponytail and then I actually, I'm gonna show you this. I always do this with my hair because I can't do braids on my own hair. It's just not possible. But I use this clip like right here to kind of pull out the back of the hair. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig. I'm gonna brush her really quickly just to make sure there's not tangles or anything like that but I'm gonna show this wig one more time because I've showed it before. It's a hand tied back, it has a silk top right here, and then it's got a tiny bit of lace front, but um, it does sit on my head, like I said, all day without a wig grip, but I think I would love the extra security. I just needed something really flat to put it on. So I'm gonna go ahead, hold this from the back, put this on. Okay, and just a reminder, you always wanna hold from the sides to lift it up because lace is really delicate. Um, one other thing I wanna point out is that I just changed the part on this wig to a side part and I love it. I love changing the part on wigs because it kinda can just make it feel like you have a whole new like wig on and I really like it. It can change up the look. It does take like a little bit of training because the hair a lot of times like doesn't wanna go that way but it will over time just with like you messing with it but this feels so much more secure with the wig grip on. Now I wanna show you, um, I showed this, where is it? I have this one as well. I have this wig grip I've used before, Velvet, but for whatever reason, this one makes 
this particular wig stick up a little bit and I think it's because the velvet's just a little bit thicker. It doesn't lay as flat, but I feel like this particular wig grip is kind of holding on to it really well. So if I kind of move my head, I can feel that it's not going anywhere and I do like that feeling. Um, let me see, if I like pull up on the hair, you can tell it's not going anywhere. You wanna be really careful there because that's where the lace is, but it's definitely really sturdy and it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, like I said, the only thing I wanna monitor over time is, is this pulling out any hair? Now I do, I have already had hair loss, so I do lose hair very easily. And I know a lot of people are like, but you have hair. I do have hair, it's significantly less than what it was. If you followed me on Instagram, my journey from a year and a half ago, um, around that time, I had lost a lot of my hair and there was like patches miss missing from telogen effluvium. A lot of that grew back, but my hair is still just kind of in this really weird stage. Um, I personally don't feel comfortable just wearing my bio hair out, which is why I wear wigs and toppers, but everyone's entitled to their opinion, but I'm still going to do what I want to do with my own head. But with that being said, my hair is still very fragile. So I'm going to monitor this wig grip and just see how it works over time. If it is a little bit too, pulls a little bit too much, but honestly, so far, I really like it with this wig. Um, I think it's really flat and it works really well. And again, it's called The Wig Fix, and it's from The Renaturel. I'll link that down below, as well as this wig, because I know people are going to ask me. But um, again, if you have any other questions, any tips you wanna see, let me know. I'm trying to be as helpful as I can, because I know, especially for women who are experiencing any type of hair loss or hair thinning, this whole journey can be so overwhelming, and I wanna be there to help you. So let me uh, leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you. Bye, guys.